G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Akia Flos, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions 2.0 here inside of Legends of Runeterra, and we are going to be doing our run with Alawi. So, if you are coming to this from the previous episode, or if uh, you guys missed the previous episode, just going to quickly get you up to speed on what happened, was that uh, we beat uh, Jin's first campaign with him, of course, and uh, unfortunately, I would have preferred that if we could continue along that vein. So yeah, we get to, you know... um get you know it, it fits continuity that's what i'm trying to get at here so uh unfortunately we can't do that because we do not have enough star fragments to level up Jin. if i show you what i mean you go into the uh champion select menu over here if we go into Jin, you might notice i already have one star on him and unfortunately we have not enough champion fragments to start him up to a two-star champion and the reason why we're gonna want to start him up to a two-star champion is because um, this is universal for each uh, champion whenever you get a champion up to two stars it's, it's only then you get to unlock their um, second chapter of their campaign so we have allow me selected right here it's the same for Jin. Um, unfortunately, because we do not have enough fragments for either Alawi or Jin, I cannot get the second chapter of this particular champion unlocked. And what does that mean is that I cannot play that mode until, you know, I get enough fragments. And fragments are randomly given out, so there's really no way and really no... Con I, I have no control over what fragments we're gonna get. So what does that mean essentially for this series is that we're gonna have to jump between each champion from time to time until I get enough fragments to, you know, continue their campaign. And for today's episode, we're gonna be focusing on on Alawi. So, um, I've already done this first, you know, campaign with Alawi on the first night this uh, mode, Path of, this Path of Champions mode was released, and it was actually kind of cool. I think I like, you know, Alawi's uh, set. In fact, I think I understand Alawi a little bit more, um, you know, a, a little bit more easier than Jin in a sense. But uh, yeah, that's just, you know, com uh, my two cents and my comparison between the two. Both are actually kind of cool champions, by the way. I highly recommend playing both of them if you are playing this game, of course, or if you are, you know, if you're considering picking them up for your card collection or something so uh, what we're gonna do today is like I said we're gonna take a look at Alawi's Path of Champions and we're gonna be doing her first campaign and that first campaign is gonna be here against Misfortune so it's called the Buru's Calling and we are gonna go ahead and see if we can better our current batch which is a C batch with um, you know of this uh, of this run so let's go ahead and replay this adventure <laughs> All right, we are all loaded in, and this looks like a very nice map. I've ha I have seen the map, of course, but I would like to point out that this looks a lot like a ship. As you can see here, this is the uh, stern or the bow. I'm not really sure. The front and the back of the ship. I can't remember what 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 it's called. It's either a bow or a stern. But yeah, this is the rear of the ship, and this looks like the front of the ship. And of course, this looks like the main deck, and this the hull. So that's kind of cool that they you know they made the map kind of similar looking to a ship. But enough nerding out. Let's go ahead and just uh, head to this first. Uh, power node over here and see what we get. Okay, when you damage an enemy, reduce its power by the damage dealt. Enemies have one zero. Game start, summon a sparring student. Hmm, these are actually all kind of good because um, whenever Alawi spawns a tentacle, so I think spawns are considered a summon if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me just double check. Is this a summon? Yes, it is a summon. So that means it's gonna help with, uh, you know, progressing the sparring students, uh, you know, plus one, plus one. So that could definitely be very, very good. Uh, enemies have minus one, minus zero is definitely a very flat out and, you know, very reliable uh, power to have. When you damage an enemy, reduce its power by damage dealt. It's also very good because um, Alawi's, uh, what is it? Um, I would say a lot of Alawi's... Uh, um, cards here essentially are more high powered cards so if we can get a tentacle early we might be able to sacrifice some tentacles sack some tentacles and essentially have their power reduced but i think out of you know in terms of efficacy i think i'm gonna go with the enemies have minus one minus zero because that looks like the more solid and more reliable one um again this is not a professional guy i'm not a professional player i'm just i'm my main intention is to showcase the story to you but sometimes i'm gonna take the time you know to talk about certain things and my thought process heading into each run so yeah just uh, take everything i say with a grain of salt <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and pick up the disarm All right, so let's head to the first node, which is against the Crackshot Corsair. And to my understanding, this is also uh, gonna have a, what is it, a non-voice actor conversation. So I'm gonna narrate it for you. Alas, Bilgewater. Again, I find you stagnant with black mist. Stop right there. Nobody's dropping anchor until we sort out this harrowing business. 
foolish imp. I come as a priestess of Nagakaboros, the mother serpent. Now stand aside or feel her bite. Okay, so we are going to take on the Corsair here. Alright, so looks like a fairly good start. Um, watchful Idol. We have two allowies. We can, of course, reroll one. One of them. Um, Journeying Sandhopper we can keep. So hopefully we get another cheaper cost in it. That'll be cool. I'm warning you, I don't do warning shots. Heh, <laughs> I do not heed warnings anyway. <laughs> That's a nice interaction. Okay, let's bring on the Watchful Idol. Okay, Grumble Slug. Um, that could be good. So it's a two cost. We're just going to bring it on. That way we could, you know, we don't have to sacrifice the tentacle. Can bring on another journeying sand hopper. You got a two. Bad the ocean. I never and we can attack with the entire bunch. Because it's a zero one. Gotcha in my sense. Nice. to the enemy nexus uh i think we can bring on alawi right or maybe we could actually do we could we could prevent this guy from damaging our nexus so i think we'll do that let's go ahead and do a tentacle smash and we'll have the tentacle strike this guy that way we prevent the attack and the two damage to our nexus and we are safe Tentacles defend again, or actually, you know, let's not sacrifice tentacles. Let's do well, not sacrifice, but let's not have any damage go to our tentacles. So let's go ahead and defend with the grumble bug. And we have a free nexus with a free win. <laughs> Alright, so we get um, a couple of cards here. Smooth Soloist reduce the cost of allies in your hand and deck by two. The Trickster with an Elusive. Uh, plant a Flash Bomb Trap on each card in the... Uh, plant a Flash Bomb Trap on each card in the enemy deck. This is actually a very good card, to be honest. Um, we get a Flash Bomb Trap on each uh, card. But uh, I don't know what the hell do we go, go for here. Actually, they all seem like they could be good. The Trickster with the Elusive is, of course, very good. Because we all know what Elusive units do. Um, smooth Solos, Plunder, reduce the cost of all allies in your hand and deck by two. This is also, of course, very good with the Plunder. But the seven cost is, of course, putting me off a bit. And I know for a fact that we can beat Misfortune really early. So I think we're going to go for a more aggressive one. Um, you know what? Let's go for the Trickster. Uh, I really don't want to pass off the Sheriff built over as well. It could be good, but I think we're just going to go straight out for flat-out damage. And I think the Trickster will provide that, you know, with the Elusive and the uh, Tree Power. Okay, so let's see what we get here from the Support Champion. Hopefully, we get a good uh, set of cards. We get Rumble, we get Zoe, and we get Diana. Uh, what the hell do we do here? Hold on, let's see what Diana does. Uh, nightfall, right, Nightfall, activate Nightfall, um, 2 0 and Challenger this round. Okay, so, you know, some of these champions I know they're quite old, but, you know, I have a terrible memory, so I need to refresh myself from time to time to remind myself what they do. Um, Zoe, I know, I believe she levels up when we play 10 different cards, right? And at the same time, we could give uh, all units the uh, keyword whenever we summon it. So, I think with that considered, I really don't want to reroll this, and I think Zoe could be a good one-cost unit that we could send on because this um, deck really does not, you know, have a good 
one cost units that we can use. So I think we're gonna go ahead and bring on a Zoe for this deck. All right, so for this next note, we have a champion item down here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and head towards the monkey idol. So let's see what um, this guy has in store for us. Ook, ook, game start, summon a monkey idol. All right, so Grumble's Buck, uh, Buru Lookout, and Tentacle Smash. These are all very expensive units. I think we're gonna reroll all the four and five. So we're gonna keep the uh, two costs. Hoping we got a Zoe there. <laughs> Monkey Idol's eyes flash with a sinister glow. Imposter, behold the truth of a real idol. Yeah, we do get a Zoe. Cool. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and commit the attack. Got a powder monkey coming on. Let's resolve this. We can bring on a Grumbles bug. I'm not really that worried, to be honest. If the Powder Monkeys do attack, I am willing to sacrifice a tentacle here because, um, you know, I think we might be able to get some tentacles next turn if we play the Sea's voice. So, yeah, I'm not really that worried. And these guys, this guy should die. Next one start. There we go. And bring on the Sea's voice. The sea she calls. Okay, good enough. I was worried that the slot might get, you know, increased power. <laughs> okay, so let's attack with everything. We should be fine. Do you hear her voice? <laughs> Keep trying. Okay, I cocked up a little bit there because I forgot, you know, I thought the tentacles would, you know, immediately spawn an attack. I think it must be, uh, I can't remember what the power does. <laughs> uh, when allies attack spawn one. Okay, it spawns one on the board. I thought it was going to spawn one and it's going to attack one short. So, yeah, I must have uh, misunderstood that there. But it's okay. Uh, we have a reduced cost of a star chart, but I'm not going to cast it yet. We're going to get a zero cost. I think that'll be much better. We can actually do an answer prayer here and spawn five tentacles. That would be good. Uh, sorry, spawn four tentacles. That would be great. I think we're going to do that. So much to play for. We're just trying to feed Alawi at this point when she comes on. So hopefully she comes on soon. Uh, tree health. We can use the Sea's voice to block. I'm worried about some, you know, maybe a warning shot. Not, not warning shot. I'm worried about um, a... Uh, what's, that, what's that ability again? Parley, right. I'm worried about a parley coming on, but I think it should be okay. Um, you know what? This is a very easy campaign. I'm not going to be too worried too much. Uh, my focus is going to be trying to complete this as quick as I can. So let's just commit this attack. Or actually, no. This is a smarter thing to do. <laughs> let's not sacrifice any units. There we go. Get a brewer lookout. We can spawn a lot of tentacles. Okay, and we have a free nexus this turn because none of them do any damage. I'm just gonna put on the powder keg just for safe measure. I am not gonna be too concerned about these other two. Cast the star chart. We get a. Let's bring on a charger. Why the hell not? <laughs> We're in control. We can, you know, be a bit more. Uh, play a bit loosely, essentially. Some to powder kicks. Go ahead. Probably gonna kill the sea's voice. If it does not, we'll bring on Trickster. We don't need to, but, you know, we're just gonna play for fun. <laughs> Captures, it's fine. We still win next turn. We have more than enough power. Nice. Do you hear her voice? How do you like 
Alright, so let's go ahead and move on. Let's see what we get from the next reward and then of course move on into um, the second last battle before Misfortune. Let's quickly get this out of the way. I think we'll just get, get a uh, plus zero plus two on the Buru Lookout. Let's go to Champion Item. And we'll get an upgrade on Alawi. A 1-1 one -one looks like a very good upgrade on Alawi. So I think we're going to get that on her. We could reroll, but um, I think we'll just leave that. It's okay. Let's go down to the Brash Gambler because there is a item chest here, which is much better than the goal, I think. When the four attacks, they draw one and give it fleeting. Okay. All right, now good start. Um, we're going to reroll everything except the Trickster Elusive. Um, ideally, I want to see if we could get, you know, play... Aggressively. Come to try your luck. One does not need luck when she pursues her desires. <laughs> okay. So very, you know, cocky and confident from Alawi there. We're gonna need that. Let's bring on Zoe first turn. Affectionately named Cancer. <laughs> um, so let's see what we can do here. We can possibly attack or we can spawn two. I think we're gonna attack. We're gonna spawn two, but you know, it should be fine. Where do you stand on cold shots? Probably should have spawned two there, or we could have saved four. Yeah, we could save four, spawn four. That would be better. Reboot is out. Let's bring on a Trickster. That way we can block with a Trickster. I think we'll play aggressively here. Let's bring on a Spawn 2. That way we have four Tentacles next turn. Ring on the C's voice to get the overwhelm on the tentacles, which is cool. Us. And no cards. Okay, so let's bring on the Spacey Sketcher. I think we'll discard one of the stunts. Just want to get many units and, you know, attack. <laughs> Even get a Serpent, which is cool. Um, ideally, Moon Silver would, of course, be better because it reduces the cost of a card. But I want to play aggressively, so I'm going to go with the Serpent. <laughs> Go on then. Okay, let's see what we can do. Hopefully we get some good damage. Do you hear her voice? Wait a minute. We play in build rules. So where do you stand on cold shots? Lots of pool sharks. Interesting. It's fine. Bring on the Brew Lookout. We'll take out the 1-1. Like one, one. When I'm at sea, I'm never alone. We'll do a... We'll block with the tentacles. And we can attack with this and get our win. Go ahead. Okay, um, Crystal Iwax, play Grant an ally overwhelm and challenger. Nightfall grant me elusive, deal five to an enemy that attacked this round or is stunned. Uh, I think we're just gonna go ahead and grab the Lunari Shade Stalker. Nightfall elusive is cool. I'm not gonna think too much about this because we're really close to the end. I just wanna finish this off real quick. So let's go to the item chest here and grab what we can grab. Uh, let's just grab a buff to the answered prayer. Let's go to the shop. 
we are gonna see what we can buy. If there's anything to buy, of course. Uh, do we need to buy anything? Uh, monkey idol could be good. Okay, you know what? Let's just buy a. Yeah, you know what? Let's not buy that. <laughs> Barry on this guy isn't too worth it, and we don't really don't need anything. Okay, so let's just go ahead and heal up and confront misfortune. And the four attacks with six units, deal one to the player's battling units and the player's nexus, okay? Well, well, a serpent, a serpent, it slithered ashore. Fortune, is this madness you're doing? You're hissing up the wrong tree, honey. I've got nothing to do with this harrowing. I know truth, and I know it rarely crosses your lips. <laughs> Careful. If you're gonna shoot across my bow, I might have to return fire. Sure you can handle me? Well, I sure as hell am gonna try. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and just uh, confront her. Okay, uh, kind of good start. I think we're gonna take out Ionageka Boros and the Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Um, these two could be good. I'm just gonna play really quickly. Tell me what you're hiding, or I, will rip, uh, or I will rip the secrets from your soul. Promises, promises. Okay, this is actually a very good start. One, two, three, and four. We can actually play off the curve nicely. <laughs> so let's bring on Zoe first. Of course, we get a parlay. Expect it to be fair. But it's alright, it's alright. Okay, Grumble Slug. Grumble Slug as well. I think we can attack this, get some of the damage, you know, get some of the health lowered a bit. But it should be fine. Mainly want to spawn tentacles too. That's uh, my intention. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Okay, so I think we'll do tentacle smash and we will take out misfortune. We can bring on Alawi here. Truth better. Truth is no better. Let's attack with everything just to get the maximum tentacles. <laughs> I like that interaction there. I think that's the first time I've heard that. This is kind of cool. Um, okay, so let's see what we can do here. How the hell do we respond to Sarah? Um, a tune, answered prayers, nightfall, a tune again. Uh, okay, so these are actually all not really that great. Um, I think we'll just bring on the Grumble Slug because we might need some extra, you know, spell mana, I guess. I'm not really that concerned because ideally we are in control and there's only four health left. But um, you know, I'm still I still have to be a little bit careful. Okay, so I think we're gonna do a answer prayer. Um, oh, we don't have enough to spawn four. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're not gonna do that then. Let's go ahead and stun. Or no? Uh, yeah, we can actually stun. Let's stun this guy. That way we force Misfortune to, to attack. Zero one won't do much, and uh, if she does attack, we can respond with maybe blocking with Alawi or something. We're gonna try to, you know, coerce the AI to attack. Keep firing till they're dead on the ground. My kind of plan. It's fine. Invisible to the ignorant. Set sail. 
I am so sorry, Sarah. <laughs> this is not your day. As Alawi said, we are feeling fortunate. And we are fortunate because we are going to win. <laughs> so I think we'll just attack with this and we should be fine. Okay, so we get a B on Alawi, which is uh, kind of decent, but we're not here for that. We are just going to proceed from that. We get a level up on Alawi as well. Cool. Alright, so we are back and that is Alawi's Chapter 1 complete. So, again, like I said, we cannot do Chapter 2 in the next episode because I have not gotten her to 2 stars yet. So we're going to have to work on that. I'm probably going to try to get some fragments as soon as I can. And that's going to involve a lot of grinding. So I think we might just... I, I might, I'm going to do some grinding uh, with two of my strongest champions, Yasuo and Jinx, depending on who is who. And we'll see if we could get something out of that. But... For the next episode, I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually try to go with Annie because, you know, she is a new champion. I would like to get all the new champions done first before we do the campaigns of all the older champions. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, do move on to Bar after we're done with Annie. So, uh, a good thing with Annie is also that, you know, we I have not gotten any progress on her yet. So, essentially, I'll be playing her from the beginning. So... You know, it's uh, possibly the more authentic experience if you are, uh, you say, like you're starting from scratch. So I think that's a much better, um, you know, a, a much better thing to make a video out of, I would say. But regardless, we're going to take a look at her in the next episode because we're actually running out of time today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, the Path of Champions here inside Legends of Terra. And if you did, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate your support here. But most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of single-player playthroughs or content just like this one. And with that being said, this is Kevlo signing off. Thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me hopefully i catch you all in the next one goodbye